The Connected Christian Church presents an atmosphere shift, a life change. You're prepared to enter into The Connection. You're joining our service for Sunday, October 21st, which is already in progress. Righteous eternal life, you got to ask yourself 
It'd be like a man who had got his life clean, the demons, and the, the demon left and came back. He said, well, I can't find a way to go. And he saw everything swept and garnished. And the Bible says that when the demons came back, they found the state of that man worked off because he brought seven other demons. You thought you had a problem here, but you go ahead and you won't have that foundation of God. You give up and start dimming and dabbing the back. That's one thing right there. I'm going to tell you, you can't, you got to stop dimming and dabbing. Ain't no such thing for a Christian doing just a little bit. I don't know what your little bit is, but you can't be doing just your little bit. You had to cut that out. Because eventually what's going to happen is you're going to do just a little bit, and that's going to be it. You're going to be off to the races. See, some of y'all know what, me, what, that, what that mean. You're off to the races. You probably will just hang that up. We'll see you in about three to five. But that's the thing. You gotta let go. You gotta hold on to the life that God called you into. Because if you don't hold on to the life that God called you into, then you'll end up in the life that He called you out of. And see, so for some of us, we can't go back into the life that God called us out of because it'll destroy us. It'll destroy us. Anybody else besides me can be honest and say, if I go back where I came from, I'm going to die. Somebody's been like, oh, it ain't that serious. Oh, no, baby, it's that serious. If I go back into what I came out of, I will die. So I got to keep on pushing towards the part, the high call that is in Christ Jesus. Even though I have not attained it, I keep on pressing. Even though I'm not there yet, I keep on pushing. Even though I'm not there yet, I got to keep on moving. You got to fight the good fight. In verse number 12, it tells you, you embrace the light at one point. But see, you done did this in front of everybody. It said that you embraced it in the presence of so many witnesses. Here's the problem when you really get good in your walk. It's not just for you. Everybody else is watching you. It's not just your walk you impacted. It's the people that are connected to you. The people that have sat there and said, see, I knew what nothing to it after all. I was going to come to church with you next week. But as soon as you fell off, I knew you. I knew what was right with you. But see, you impacted everybody. You embraced it in front of everybody. And then when you fall, you fall in front of everybody. But here's the thing. Even if that happens to you, see, this is why I love the Lord. Because even if you fall, even if you fall publicly, even if you fail publicly, your restoration will be public. Because those that counted you out because you did fall will have to be witness to the fact that you got back up again. 